This video is meant for the educational purpose. Please ensure you understand the step before using any script. The goal is to help you to learn how to complete the lab effectively while following the Quick Lab Turns and Services and YouTube Community Guidelines. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In this video, I am going to guide you through the process to complete this lab and help you to understand each step. First, log in with your Quick Lab credentials and once done with that, in the description box of this video, I have shared the GitHub link which will help you to automate some tasks over here. However, I will recommend you to follow along and understand what each command does so you can learn the process effectively. I will encourage to open and review the script to understand each step. So first of all, just me scroll down over here and from here just me open this link in incognito window over here. This will activate your cloud shell. So just me wait for that. And it's finally done. Now what you do, we have to just me copy this curl command. This will download your github file from your github to your cloud shell. So just me copy this one, copy like this, come back and run over here like this way. Now we have to make this file executable. For that just me copy this chmod command. So just me copy this one come back paste hit enter now we have to just me run this file for that just me copy this last command come back over here paste hit enter okay now just me wait and then just me click on this authorize button over here once this command execute then we are done with the task number one two and three sometime what happen you might face an error over here okay while executing this command if you face the error you have to just me rerun all this command again okay so now just me wait and watch and it's finally done now if we just scroll up over here and from here you can see i didn't get any kind of error but if you face any kind of error then you have to just need to run all this command again okay now if we just scroll down over here and from here you can see open dashboard link and open create matrix link so just me open both the links in new tab over here like this way now just me come back to your dashboard okay then just me click on this create dashboard over here like this way now for this what you do just me come back to the lab instructions and click on the task number 4 and from here you can see this filter name so just me copy this come back and just me click over here first of all okay and then just me click on this add widget and from here just me choose a line over here then just me click over here and from here just me search for that like this way then just me click over here, here and then here. Just me check the path over here. Okay. Then just me click on this apply and it's done. Then click on this apply button. Okay. Now just me scroll down then copy the second filter. Again just me click on this add widget. Then again just me choose a line. Again click over here and again just me choose a request over here. Again just me choose VM instance, Apache and request. And then click on this apply. So it's done. Then again just me click on this apply button over here. Now you can see both this widget. Now if you just me come back over here and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updated immediately no need to worry about that. It will take a couple of time to update a score. Okay. Now task number 5 is very easy. Again just me come back over here and then just me choose over here. Now make sure that for the matrix type it must be distribution. Okay. Make sure that you have to just simply choose this type. Now for the log name just simply type quick lab over here like this way. Scroll down over here. Now for the build filter just me come back to the github repo. Scroll down and from here you can see this command. Copy this one. Come back and paste over here. Okay. Now here you can see your project ID. Now you have to just simply replace this thing with your current project ID. So just me copy that and replace over here this way okay now for the field name just me copy this text playload and just me paste over here this way okay now for the regular expression just me come back to the github repo again and then copy this one 
and just me paste over here like this way once done with all these things make sure that your configuration must look like this if it's so then only just me click on this create matrix over here just me wait and watch and as you can see it's done now if we just may come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for the task number 5 you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated immediately no need to worry about that you have to just may wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score on this lab for sure so just may wait and watch and as you can see it's done and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys remember this video is for educational purpose please make sure you understand the step and follow the quick lab terms and services and youtube community guideline